So you guys aren't gonna believe this, but Joe, one of the things I'm out here helping him do is is actually clean up his his shop area. And so because of that, one of the first things that's gotta be fixed is we gotta start that. It's kinda like that, but it's that. And you're gonna ask, what is that? Well, let me tell you, this is gonna be a hot mess. This, is a skitter with a Detroit and trees growing up through it. Uh, so this has been sitting here for a long, long time. So we got a couple hours to do this, but we actually got to get this thing up, get it out of here. As you can see, it's sunk pretty deep. But we gotta get this thing up and out of here because we need the blade to rake this flat so we can push all the trucks back because the city is complaining a little bit. So, there's the adventure. We gotta say it loud and... Let's do this. Yeah! <laughs> Youch! Oh, this is gonna be a problem. I'm not sure this is my best idea ever. Skitter. This is a Pettibone 15. As this, in it's from 1915? This, this was brand new in, that one was brand new in 68. And I don't know what vintage this one is. This one's, that's serial number number seven and I think this is number three. Where are the batteries? Like Batteries right on top of the frame rail right here on the other side. Are there batteries in it or no? No. So we're gonna have to make a hole. Well, I was thinking I could cut through the bed. Well, we gotta make a clean spot for the pilot, no matter what. 
Well, I remember right the dipstick right there. We could see what kind of oil is in it. Well, see if we can get there without hurting anyone. Oh, I see a dipstick. Let's see here. Oh, it's still got good oil. That, some of that might be water. Okay. Some of that might be water? Yeah, kind of like the last one you did. Yeah. Well, hey, if it's still got water and oil. Huh? I guess we don't even care about water. We're not going to run it that long. I don't know. It's right at, on the mark pretty close. Yeah, the oil don't smell bad. It don't smell uh, crusty or anything. Yeah, this, this motor wasn't that shape. So do we want to put a bar on this thing and try to turn it over? Or do you want to just take the bumper and want to take the starter and try to bump it? I can get up in the front and get on it and move it and see if it's loose. If it's not loose, we might have to reschedule. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm on. Well, uh, yeah, for real, how many years has it been here? 25, 30? No, I don't know. Well, when... how many years does that take? <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a decent size. I got some pretty meaty hands. That's a good size tree. That's not a two year old tree. <laughs> But this one sat underneath the tree, but the logger just shut it down for 25 years? Yeah, it was underneath the maple tree for 25 years. And then you brought it here? Yeah. See, I mean... If I got it to run, it was mine. So you said if you got it to run, it was yours? Yeah. It was either that or... Take it out to pieces. <laughs> It's just My pre, one's got a pre spin on. I wonder. Oh, oh, I can. Uh, I can see if the rack hung up. That'll be good. Test the record for. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's the record oldest can of whatever. Whatever Hornet spray. It works just good. <laughs> Neutral. We're not gonna die. No, not today. Maybe later. Is it moving? Uh. So that's the stop, right? Yeah, the stop and the throttle right there. It looked like it's like the other one. It, I think there's a potential that it's probably okay yet. Well, the throttle looked like it was moving. It just looked like the cable wasn't moving. Yeah. So this, this still got the old diesel in it from the 70s. <laughs> it'll 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 run. Uh, All right. You won't have to take over. So what happens when we start that? Is that? Ow! Don't get stuff. Oh, I ain't gonna touch nothing. I'm just. Ow! So, Joe's rule of old junk don't touch nothing. If it ain't broke, don't touch it. You'll just break it. But I'm thinking that radiator hose is. <laughs> Never mind. It'll run. I got a question though. Yeah, you can. <laughs> what kind of. That's that's an inspection cover. <laughs> when you say they don't make them like they used to, Permanent well, enough. somebody just blasted that out of there with a torch. But that thing's got to weigh 75 pounds. <laughs> that's your plan. Climb in, Can set the battery in, and, and hit the button, and it's it's that simple, huh? Well, last time it was pretty close to that. <laughs> I had to pull the head off because it wouldn't turn very well. Whoops. It rained in it for probably five years. Uh -huh. Well, this is going to be a colorful one.
Found the starter. Found the starter. Found the batteries. Found the cables. They're smaller than the blackberry vines. Did you cut them? No. You want me to hand you some batteries? No, I got a piece of junk in my eye and I want to get it out. Oh. Well, let's do that. It's kind of weird being in the, like, I that. the cocoon. What's ahead? Dimension for the blackberries. <laughs> uh oh. What was the nominal dimension for the blackberry? About an inch. That's a that's a hefty blackberry. Oh my God, I found the ground. Uh, serial number two. Yep. I don't know how we ended up with a battery cable this long. That's fantastic. Except that we don't have a ground that long. That's not fantastic. Oh, we can set it on the tire. It'll be close. Like I said, they're all about an inch in diameter. They're pretty beefy. Old growth. Old growth. What is this gauge here? I don't know what that the gauge is. Power meter has got 2,000 hours on it from new. Huh. I'm gonna guess that was a ground strap, but I don't know what it fell off of. Well, it looks like a well now. There's a battery box that goes in here, but it's not here anymore. Okay, so this is gonna be I don't know what that is. It's, so it's fro it's frozen, whatever it is. Parking brake. Well that's a parking brake. No, that's one of them. This is a micro lock. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's frozen. That's yeah, it's been there for too long. The the big gauge on the far side is for the winch. Oh, it's a hydraulic gauge for the winch? Yeah. So you don't it does have a power shift winch. <laughs> that was a bad move. I can actually see the motor. This is exotic. It's exotic? So, since you can see the motor, I'm kind of curious. Well, I pushed the throttle lever down and it came back up on its own accord. Yeah, it's off. Oh. Is it moving? Yeah, it works. Well, what do you know? I just don't, I need to get a hold of the stop so I can make sure it. Make sure you can kill it so we don't, uh. Make sure it doesn't run and then it runs <laughs> instead of the other way around. Need a screwdriver or something for the stop or how do you want it? I was going to take a pair of vice grips to it and cut the wire off to it. Oh. That way I wouldn't interfere with my, my plans. <laughs> Where's the stop lever on this thing? No, 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 up, up on the dash. One of them chrome knobs right there. Can you see if I'm getting any movement there? How about this one? Well, if you pull that, that one, there's that's a stop right there. The other one was the emergency stop, and I hope you didn't pull that. <laughs> I did pull it. We, well, I didn't hear it go click, so maybe we're lucky. But the one that I just pulled, and, so is this moving? Pull it out, pull it in some more. Pull it out. There. That's all I got. Okay, well, okay, push it back in. Yep. All the way in. Okay. And then out. It just moved a lot more than it did before. Yeah, it's, those are good cables. I mean, considering. Where's the emergency stop? Because I did pull on that and it is. I got to crawl back in here. <laughs> well, it's, it's frozen, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't going nowhere. Will this pull enough to kill it if we needed to? What, to stop? Yeah. No, I'm going to put a pair of ice grips on. <laughs> put a pair of ice grips on. Because it, it deserves somebody to tell it when to stop going. To, to say no, sir. Don't do that. So negative. Mm. Positive. In theory.
the good thing about this, you don't have to worry about which one's which because it's whatever you make it. Really? Yeah. How do you mean it's whatever you make it? Like the starter don't care which way it's wired? The starter don't care. And if you're... It won't caught and rotate? If you're... You no. Know, if you're slick with the... Um, I just need one. If you're slick with the voltage regulator because it's got a generator on it. You can hook it up backwards and it'll charge backwards. <laughs> it really? Does, it doesn't care. Will it smoke the battery? Nope, it won't hurt the battery. Really? The battery is a... Well, see, it'll... If you hook it up, it'll it'll charge backwards. What do you mean by charge backwards? It'll still charge. It just yeah, the needle will go over toward the negative side, but it's charging the battery because it's hooked up backwards. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't it be discharge? Well, uh, you no. Know, when you hook the cables up backwards, the gauge shows backwards. But but the, the battery's still it's it's still getting charged the right way. Well, no. This is when life was simple. <laughs> like you couldn't of, hurt it well you can hurt it but you have to really work at it <laughs> <laughs> something I'm not careful I'm going to set this blackberry patch on fire <laughs> yeah that's what I was So, we got a starter project again? I don't know. I didn't jump across the. Here, let me just. Me another, another start button or a, what is this, 653? Yeah. Uh oh! She turned. Well, she tried. <laughs> well, something happened. Smoking right there. <laughs> It'll run here. It'll run? Yeah. Alright, what do you need? Throttle? I want to have something to. No, no. I want to turn it off. <laughs> you you want to hang some. Because uh... if it gets going really fast, I'll be chewed up in blackberry vines before you find me. <laughs> what happened to Joe? Well, let me see. His body is right where we left it. <laughs> yeah. So you're just gonna hang that up on the stop lever so you can. I'm gonna take the stop wire and cut it off so it doesn't get in the way. Oh, that broke immediately. Well, that's even better then. Oh, look at that. Stops free. Everything's cool. Oh, well, I do smell it smoking just from that little turnover too, actually. Yeah. That's the virtue of having a fuel tank above the motor. You don't have to worry about it getting a prime because it's always ready to go. Unless it puts fuel in the oil. So. Yeah, but we pulled the dipstick and it wasn't full of junk, so. Yeah, it's, we're all good. So the fuel filters have been on it. They were on it for 25 years the first time. <laughs> are these the same filters these that are. are the same filters. Are they 40 years old? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, this has been here more than 15 years, so probably closer to 45, 50 years old. Somewhere, I can see there was a the... there was a plan to convert it to spin on back in '86. <laughs> might, we might want to do that if we get this pulled out of here. How long are your arms? Oh, long enough. What you need? I'm gonna have you hit the button. Yeah. Alright, you ready on everything? Yeah, hit her. I'm trying to get away where I can. Smoking. Smoking. That's because it's got crap on the valves here going hoof hoof hoof. Yeah. Let it set a little bit. We might have to give this one a little ether to get its attention. <laughs> Might have to wake her up. Yeah, well. It's, is that is that what I'm hearing? That. That's, yeah, that's, that's the valves. There's there's crap growed on the valve. Well, I like Series 60. You leave them sitting in a wrecking yard. Yeah. And the carbon that's on the valve. Will, will yeah. kind of grow little hairy things. Yeah, and, and then it 
as soon as you turn the motor over it falls onto the seat and then when you go to start it there's nothing you can spin it and there's nobody home <laughs> and the only way you can get them to run is hose them down with a little bit of ether yeah and you get them going so get, they bust you get, those you get one cylinder pickup and then it'll carry the rest of them but that's how that works all right ready <laughs> I tell you no way <laughs> all right I'm climbing down for you turn in a little too slow to do what we want it to do you want battery number two or some just no. jumper cable one to the other yeah just slide it over here close and I'm gonna hook these up right now, they'll be live. Okay, you're good. If I can see which is which here, that's the positive. The one that makes big sparks will be the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, you know, my mom always told me that. Okay. It was smoking. It takes longer to clear the brush than it does to start them. Dude, it was, it's kind of cool to see them that manifold's off and you can see each cylinder just huffing. Yeah. Fire in a hole. Fire in a hole. It tried to fire that one time. I heard it for a second. Yeah. As little as I'd like to do it, I gotta have to put a little ether in it to make it go. It went. If we could spin it faster, I think it. If we, well, like the other one, if you spin them fast enough, it'll run. It'll run. It doesn't care. Well, we could put them batteries end to end and make it 24. Uh, I think we can get it. I just need to give it a whip of joy juice. So, this isn't premium starting fluid, so I don't have much hope for this stuff. <laughs> Squirt some in an exhaust port there, it'll probably take off then. to break down and do fuel filters. <laughs> because it acts like it's running out of gas. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. I'm... Do you have any more of them canister type filters? Uh... I guess we could always just pull the canister out. Wow. Not that that's advisable. It, it ain't smoking, it's just popping on ether. Yeah, so it it got plugged up someplace. Ah, that's mostly diesel, I'm good with that. It's squirting out of there good? Yeah. So it's just a second, well there's, can you open that, that the secondary? Petcock on the secondary? It's... I'll get plumbed into it first, then I can push whatever's in there out. But like, like this, even so, there may be enough crap growing on the on the filters. Yeah, to shut them off. But algae wouldn't grow on these, would it? Yeah, diesel diesel has one of the components of diesel is water. Yeah, and even, even old and, diesel. And the old diesel would still do it, but not not to the way it does it now. Uh, it came. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I actually thought you were in trouble on that one. 
Well, I don't remember if I got to prime this the last time I worked on it when I took it out of the brush. You just got it started that one time, put it up on the trailer and put it here and it's been here ever since, huh? There's still yeah. coming out of there. So, let's take a look. Ooh, ooh. Don't smell like fuel. It won't. <laughs> The drain cock came open. I huh. saw it. Nothing coming out of there? Oh no, it's coming. I've already ruined my gloves, so we're good. <laughs> I'm still going to say the diesel that's in here is better than the diesel that is in this you can. can buy downtown. <laughs> I'm pumping. Yeah, uh, probably just keep pumping too. Just keep pumping it a little live. Yeah, in case it, if it twisted the drive off or the pump or something. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready if we live. <laughs> no problem. Pumping. Smoking now, and I can smell diesel. And my eyes are burning. My eyes are burning bad. My gosh. <laughs> Jesus. That, that's that hybrid diesel you got there. Oh. Is that nasty? Nasty. That is Jesus. <laughs> well, some, some of that's that's some of that's the starting fluid there. You can blame that on me. Is it still pumping? It's still pumping. Doing that with a stop on? No, it's in the run position. I have the throttle opened on it, but can we kick off that ladder? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find another can of ethers. Back into it. Did it bust it off or just pull no. it loose? The rubber rotted out of it, like that hose did. Oh. Okay, that. Was, uh... End of that, huh? Plan. Oh, the nature took care of my problem. So the biodegraded all the rubber parts. What are you talking about? It started. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There was a technical it's... glitch in the process, but just so you guys can see where we're at, I don't even know how to show you. Right here. Let me try going in like this. All right. Right in there. It's where the fuel line goes into the head. And uh, if you can, there you go. That little, that little fitting right there is loose, but it's almost impossible to get to. And it's, it's gushing out of there pretty good. So we're gonna try to get this done and started tonight. Other than that, I got paperwork to do. But that's just, yeah, so that's the whole problem right there. Yeah. And it was just barely grabbed for 50 years. Yeah, well, 68 till now, so <laughs> how many years is that? That'd be 50... 52? Yeah. Wow, we're some math majors late at night, huh? I need more of something. Light, space, time, arm length, 
all of the above. Now, if I can get this wrench in here. good thing about this we can leave all this stuff here because nobody's coming in here hubba, hubba. Any, any last rights or last wishes I don't have any more ether so it better work this time or we're in trouble fire in a hole <laughs> Shooting sparks. It will. Okay. That's carbon. That's why it's got a spark arrester. Well, used to. <laughs> How you like that? Well, that thing just popped right off. Well, when you get gas in them, that helps. <laughs> oh, no, jeez. Uh -huh. It's on fire. I'm getting that thing red hot, did it? Well, that's the process. Far behind you, where's your wrench? Go for it. Go this way. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Tube might have had calcium in it too, which is not good. Oh, I awesome. The good news is it's still up.
Out of the hydraulic fluid? That or the pump decided not to be happy today. Let's do her. I was a little bit concerned it wasn't coming out of reverse there for a second.
running away on you. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all good. Well, that's pretty flippin' cool. Well, that's what the back end of it looks like. Here's the hole. Well, that's pretty pro. Oh, the cable's still on it. I was wondering where the cable went. You know, what's interesting is that it run itself dry on hydraulic fluid. I wonder if it, was, it had to be drained because I we didn't see any puddles or leaks. I mean, unless it ran out somewhere 50 years ago. I don't know, I think you just blew a... I popped the hose off. Popped the hose off. We lost a little loop. Well, I love that the top was easy to get to. The bottom, on the other hand, is right there, but it's in a bad spot. All right, it runs, it drives. The hydraulics even worked until we killed them. Uh, good times, man. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. Cool. Remember the gear? We got hats, everything else. Uh, we're getting back to work on the 359 Pete. Uh, we're leaving that uh, 8V92 here with Joe to work on. So, thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you guys soon. Cheers. Hey, guys. I thought I'd show you. All the gear came in. We got our Country Life hats. We have these in gray and black. Uh, the one I kind of have adopted. Uh, we have these in brown and olive. And the camel. These are kind of my favorite. Uh, we got our Pig Iron Tractor Company shirts in. With our... With our Country Life logo on the front. Uh, man, we got a bunch of stuff. So we got the, we actually got girls shirts because Joe wanted some shirts. So those are cool. And we just got our standard Country Life shirts with the Country Life logo on the back. So this will all be up on the website. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Cheers.